you know, I, I don't know how I got hit and got dazed. It was kind of weird, like voodoo or something. It was like, I, I was stepping, I was like, that was nothing. Whoa, what was that? You know? So he, his, hand, his hands actually, he threw a lot straighter this fight. And, um, um, he, and he started shooting in the second round. And I was like, sweet, if you're gonna shoot, you're gonna try to take me down, I'm gonna hit you, you know? So, um, so yeah, it was great. And then um, I actually tried to go for a Dars. And um, he actually got me in, in half guard and um, I ended up getting out. So um, and that was his only chance of doing any type of jiu-jitsu to me. So, um, so I, you know, I, I proved the point that, that I am in, you know, in that top echelon, you know? I mean, Damian Maya is, he's, He's definitely uh, a force to be reckoned with at the 185 pound weight class. So, you know, I think I, I think I'm up there somewhere. Yeah, and when the fight was over, how confident were you with the decision, or were you? Uh, I was confident. You know, I know. I mean, the first round was kind of close, but the last two rounds were mine. So, yeah, I was confident. Damian Maya looked awesome. The fact, the fact that he beat Damian Maya, and the fact that he beat Damian. The way that Damien fought tonight was uh, unbelievable because Stefan Bonner was sitting next to me when the fight started and he goes, this is a bad matchup for Damien Maya. And then Maya came out with guns ablazing. He looked awesome tonight. He came ready to fight and, and it, it was a war. And uh, I was very impressed that, you know, to, to win the way that Damien Maya fought tonight.